Hey guys, Mangrel here. We just came to the field for a quick flight and it looks like winter is already here. It's only 11 degrees. So we're gonna try a couple of flights outside and then once we freeze, we'll try a couple of flights inside from inside the car. We tried something like this last year when the DJI system was brand new and it did not go well. As soon as we took off, we lost video and ended up crashing out in the field. Hopefully better luck this time, but let's see. All right, so let's do a couple of flights outside the car, set some baselines. We'll start with the stock antenna first. We're gonna fly out to those trees, come back and see how the signal strength is. And we'll try to be as consistent as possible between the flights, give us a nice baseline. So far, not really seeing any loss in signal. We're holding at 50 megabits. Oh, we saw it drop down to mid 40s at that point. And it's kind of surprising that I'm at two bars of signal. I'm just behind a small bush. Very normal situation, nothing out of the ordinary. All right, so it looks like for the stock antenna, we have decent signal, two to three bars, uh, 50, maybe mid 40 uh, megabits. Latency seems okay. Um, no problem, perfectly flyable. All right, so let's try exact same thing with the true RC antenna outside the car. And even before I fly, I've got two, three bars, no difference. All right, let's go. So, so far, no real difference. Three bars, 50 megabits. And we'll go back and forth a couple times, just like how we did on the stock antenna. Yeah, two or three bars. We saw it drop down to you know, high 30s, maybe low 40s. Yeah, three bars. Yeah, drop down to low 40s. And the main thing I want to add here is we're not trying to do an antenna test. We're just trying to see how these antenna actually compare, especially in a more kind of real life situation. Some feedback from the last antenna comparison we did was, you know, why are we using um, the hill for penetration testing? So really the only thing between me and the quad right now would be a bush. Yeah, so these trees are roughly 100 meters out. I'll double check on Google Maps, but uh, we'll say roughly 100 meters. So it does seem like the true RC does drop a little bit more than stock, but we'll double check uh, when editing the video. All right, let's come back in. It's uh, getting a little bit cold, starting to freeze. Okay, so we've come inside the vehicle nice and uh, warm now. And we're gonna start with the stock antenna. So far, I see no difference. I'm uh, 50 megabits, uh, three bars, same as being outside. And this is what we already tried with the original version of the firmware back when the FPV system first came out uh, last winter. And uh, hopefully we don't have a repeat of the same thing. So let's, let's get going. 
Okay, we're up. Okay, so far no difference. Got 50 megabits, 38 milliseconds. Oh, we're already down to two bars. It's still, oh, 45, 50, 46, 41. Yeah, so it looks like a, maybe a little bit. Well, oh, 31 megabits. Yeah, so definitely, I think it's dropping a good 15 megabits because of the car. Oh, down to one bar. I mean, not bad. We still made it without any kind of signal loss, uh, without any kind of quality loss either. Okay, let's try once more. Yeah, so two bars, 40 megabits here. 24. 24 megabits, 26. Yeah, so definitely um, we're losing maybe half, maybe a third to a half of our signal being lost because of the car. So I guess this would work uh, if you're flying you know, very close to yourself. I'm not sure how I feel about flying like all the way out to those trees from inside the car. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go out there and change batteries, but let's Let's go once more. Yeah, three bars. We are at the trees, down to two bars, one bar. Flashing one bar, 30 megabits. They're not bad. Just for a couple of flights during winter, this will do. Oh, that one flip finished the battery. Okay, look, I got land. I did one flip and that flip caused the battery to finish. All right, let's get down here, let's land. Land, 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 land. land. Okay, so I changed uh, the battery, fresh battery, change over to the True RC antenna. All right, let's try this out. Okay, on, and we're up. So, so far, no real difference. Um, we got three bars, 50 megabits. All right, let's go out to the trees. Okay, down to two bars. That's still, okay, 38, 39, 36, 45, 33, 23. I mean, honestly, it seems like it's the same. I don't see any kind of perceivable difference. Twenty-seven. Twenty-nine. Twenty-seven. Yeah, I think it's I'd say comparable. Maybe I won't say the same. Do I know it's a difference? No. But this is cool because I uh, tried the exact same test and it was around like, over here where we lost signal and had to go looking for the quad in the field uh, when it was covered all in snow. So definitely looks like this system has come such a long way since last winter. And we're talking about probably less than a year. I, mean, I, can, I can fly this from the car, no problem. All right, so I guess when I end the test, well, let me just do a quick flight here and see in a normal flying condition, do I see an issue? No, I mean, it seems fine. It's holding at 35 megabits, 50, 50, 35 uh, milliseconds, 50 megabits. No, this is, this is fine. Yeah, 
in the cold weather is already causing issues with the battery. We're seeing some really big uh, battery sag. Now, even though the signal bars are going down to like two or, or one, the megabits are keeping at 50. Latency is keeping in the normal range, you know, high 30s, low 40s. So nothing really crazy happening. Um, okay, let's go a little bit further out. Okay, so some pixelation. 38, no, this is fine. It's flashing one bar, but it still has 50 megabits. It's interesting. Oh, we got a little stutter, 10 megabits. Flashing one bar all this time. Yeah, this is amazing. The system's come a very, very long way. Ooh, a lot of pixelation. 17 megabits, 12 megabits, 19, ooh, seven, four, six. It's like we're playing the lottery. Seven, six. <laughs> Oh, the geese are back. All right, let's land. Okay, so I think we've answered the question. Can we fly the DJI FTB system from inside the car? Looks like now we can. If you're still running version one of the firmware, which don't see why you would be, but if you are, make sure to upgrade before trying this. But uh, we had the latest version, no problems. Flew fine. I think you give up maybe a third to a half of your um, signal strength or megabits by being in the car, but we never had any issues on pixelation, but flew good, flew well. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I think it's very timely with the cold weather uh, rolling in. Hopefully you guys uh, who are thinking of getting the FV system and you usually fly within your vehicles, this will give you some information to help with that decision. Otherwise, happy flying. Going through my stuff, I found this. It's called a transmit. And I think this is something that I purchased maybe 15, 20 years ago when I was doing a lot of um, helicopter flying in the winter time. It's got a fleece interior. And the idea is you put your transmitter in this and it keeps your hands warm for the winter time. I was gonna use this today, but we only have one hole for our antenna. 
So I need to create one more hole for the two antenna and then we can give this a try.